Hey guys, welcome in. So today we're gonna to be using uh, some seafoam spray, top engine cleaner and lube on my 2000 Forerunner SR5. I've never used this product, but I've heard a lot of great reviews and seen some good results online. So we're gonna use it today in the engine and show you guys the results. Um, and then we'll try to post back in the comments or in the description with uh, some feedback about how it worked over time. Uh, my engine runs really well. I'm happy with it, uh, but why not try to improve it if I can? This is the product we're going to be using today. You guys have seen this before, the seafoam spray. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start and show you guys what we need to do to get this done the right way. All right, so the first step is going to be to warm up your engine to normal operating temperatures. I've already done that step, and uh, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next. Right here is the uh, screw. It's a Phillips head screw for this clamp. You're gonna wanna remove this air intake hose from the throttle body. And uh, this is the hose that we're gonna be using uh, to hold the seafoam spray in place and also to spray it in. So it comes with this uh, red hose and then this hard black plastic hook. That hook is going to go inside of your throttle body and you'll see in a minute when I get it affixed the correct way. And the instructions say for that red tip of the hose to be about a quarter of an inch away from the throttle body baffle. So uh, you want that to be spaced appropriately so that whenever you're spraying it into the engine on the next steps, it reaches the appropriate spot. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this loosened up and start working on it. All right, so what I've gone ahead and done is shape this tube inside of the container here, this little hook container. There's a channel inside of this. You gotta work, uh, just bend it, shape it. This tube was cold, so it took a little bit more work on my part, but it does hold pretty well. Uh, I'm gonna try to get a shot here inside of the throttle body. You can see the, uh, the baffle there. And what you wanna do is place it inside of that point until it's about a quarter of an inch away. So it's hard to tell in the video because of the light, but I've done that. I've gotten it to where it's about a quarter of an inch away. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, leave it in this position here and place the throttle body air intake hose back into place, therefore holding this in. And uh, we'll come back and show you that once it's done. We've gotten our uh, air intake hose placed back on the throttle body and have this straw secured inside. We're gonna take the can now and uh, insert this hose into uh, the tip. This is kind of a precarious fit here. Uh, so you want to make sure to get it seated as much as possible. But just to be safe, as I spray, uh, I'm actually going to hold this because the worst thing could happen is for this to pop out and you start spraying it everywhere. So uh, at this stage, you want to have a partner inside of the truck, which I do. And the instructions say to start the engine up and have them keep the RPM level at 2000 RPMs while you empty the contents of this can into uh, the engine. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, start it up. All right, so we have uh, successfully emptied the entire can of seafoam. Now, that takes about five to seven minutes to do, and I'll tell you, you want to make certain you work out your fingers because that really puts a wear on the hand holding that down. Uh, what we're gonna do now is remove the straw from the throttle body, take the hose off, and put it back into its factory position. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take uh, this straw out and place the air intake hose back in the proper location. Now, um, yeah, you just need to line up that slot with that peg. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do this uh, with both my hands and get this clamp screwed back on. The instructions say once you get everything put back together uh, and you've emptied the contents of the can into the engine to let it hot soak for 10 minutes. So we're gonna do that. And then at the 10 minute point, 10, 15 minutes, whatever you feel comfortable with, the instructions say to take the vehicle out on the road and drive it aggressively. So you're gonna to wanna to make certain, have an open stretch of the road or the highway that you can really get onto the throttle. And uh, it also says that you could see some white smoke coming out of your exhaust, which I did see that whenever we emptied the contents of the can of the engine. So I wouldn't be surprised if I saw it again. So if you do see that, that's normal. So we're gonna let this soak and then go see what it does on the road. So we just got back from the test drive and uh, I think it went really well. Uh, for the first five minutes or so, definitely had a lot of white smoke coming out of the exhaust. After that time, uh, it completely went away. Um, I really got up to speed and, and did some aggressive driving on some backcountry roads. Uh, and honestly, I feel like at the end of the drive, I'd say probably around the 10 minute mark or so, I had a better throttle response. Now, I don't think that is something that's just in my mind. It really felt like it improved but I'm gonna monitor that as I continue to drive it and see if that stays true. So I'm not certain what type of interval I will do in regards to this maintenance, but it certainly seemed to uh, provide a benefit for me. So for the price of a can of Seafoam, um, I really think this is something I'm gonna mix in every, maybe every other oil change. Uh, it definitely can help. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I would definitely recommend doing this on your own vehicle and in your own time. It doesn't take a lot of time or effort and it's gonna be great for your vehicle. If you like this video, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thanks a lot.